Hi everyone, this is a walkthrough of the branchial and uh, cephalic musculature of the shark. If this is not the place you intended to be, back out now. Okay, so the first thing we'll look at is the intermandibularis. So it's a little torn up in this one, but it is this large sheet of muscle. You can see um, a dividing line that is the uh, median raphi or raphi. Um, I'm actually not quite sure how to pronounce that. Or the linea alba uh, is another word, another term for that. So that uh, intermandibularis lies between the mandibles. Um, if we flip it over after it is bisected, it's not really bisected, it's just kind of cut. Um, the muscle that is deep to it and on this surface is the interhyoideus. You're not gonna really be able to split the intermandibularis and interhyoideus, but just know that they are kind of sandwiched on top of each other, like so. So your intermandibularis is superficial, interhyoideus is deep. And then deep to both of those, we have uh, two muscles that we wanna look at. So this one is the coracomandibularis. It is a single muscle down the midline. And deep to that, we have the corico, if I can get under it, the coracohyoideus. So you can kind of uh, imagine which ones those attach. And there's two coracohyoideus on either side, um, deep to that coracomandibularis. Okay, and this one I can't quite get a probe under, but. Well, there we go. It's also kind of torn up. I don't know, this shark had, had a rough rough time. Rough afterlife, if you will. Um, now let's take a look at uh, these two structures. This one is um, kind of annoying to pronounce. Uh, these two, I should say. These are the common coracoarcules. You have to say that a few times and spell it out a few times just to really get a, ha a handle on it, because it's <laughs> it's kind of an annoying one, but it is one that you'll uh, want to make sure you get the spelling down right, because that one can be a little tough. But again, that's common coracoarcule. Um, you can sort of see the ventral long longitudinal bundle. I didn't really clear it off too much here, because we're going to see it on the um, lateral view. Uh, but just so you're aware, it is like here. Um, and the last thing, um, along the base of the gills, you'll find these uh, very thin muscles called the ventral constrictors. Those are often torn, especially in uh, when you dissect this the first time. Um, there's a little torn up on mine, <laughs> as well as this area up here. Um, that one was like that when I started. It wasn't my fault. Uh, <laughs> but anyway, um, yeah. So that does it for uh, the cephalic and um, branchial musculature. Now let's take a look at the lateral view. Okay, so I grabbed a shark cutlet so we can see um, a section, a transverse section through the tail of the shark, which you can't see because it's off it's over here. Um, and then we can see that uh, how those muscle bundles are expressed um, throughout the body where we have organs in between them. So they're kind of flattened out um, as we move along here. So the first thing, we'll start on the ventral side. So we have the ventral longitudinal bundle, and that is from about here down and on the shark cutlet, that is this area right here. Okay, remember, uh, look for your two um, hemal canals and your one neural canal to identify which side is dorsal and which side is ventral on the shark cutlet. All right, uh, if we move dorsally, we have our lateral longitudinal bundle. And that is expressed right here on the tail and the cutlet. The horizontal skeletogenous septum um, is not really evident in this. Well, actually, here's a little bit of it that you might be able to see on camera. Um, but that is right there. Um, it's expressed as the lateral line that you can see. So it's kind of a lighter uh, gray. We talked about the lateral line in lecture, so <laughs> you have an idea of what that is already. Uh, it's for pressure sensing um, in the water specifically. Then dorsal to that 
ep, uh, that horizontal skeletogenous septum, we have the dorsal longitudinal bundles or the dorsal longitudinal bundle. So there are three distinct bundles within that dorsal longitudinal bundle. There's this one, this one, and this smallest one there. Um, and together, those dor that dorsal longitudinal bundle is the apaxial myomeres, and the lateral longitudinal and ventral longitudinal bundles make up the hypaxial myomeres. So ep, eep, um, above, hype, below. So remember that it's above and below that horizontal skeletogenous septum. And then we have uh, a ventral skeletogenous septum in the cutlet that you can see and the dorsal skeletogenous septum. And that does it for the uh, shark body muscles that we want you to learn. So take care everyone. See you in lab.